Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably preparing for the NAPLEX or thinking about it. Um, so I thought that I would give you guys some of the tips that I used that helped me in preparing to pass my NAPLEX. Number one, when it came down to studying, I really only used one resource, which is RX Prep. Um, so I used the book, I used the book, which is available, as well as the videos, um, which is offered through the website, um, and also the practice quizzes. Now, outside of that, here are some tips that I think would be helpful in helping you pass your NAPLEX. Um, number one is to study with a group of friends. This is very useful, especially as it helps you memorize and helps you retain the information that you're studying. If you have someone to bounce that information off of, it becomes easier and it's less tedious to study. This doesn't mean that you can't do it alone, but this is just one tip that for me, I found helpful. Um, studying with other people also made me more motivated um, to study. And so I was actually getting more done when I studied with someone else as opposed to by myself, where I would fall asleep and get demotivated, etc. So that's one recommendation is to study with one other person or a group of friends. Just find a study group that you know is serious. Um, that's also preparing for the NAPLEX. This will help you get through the material quicker and also help you retain the information and stay motivated. Number two is to join a Facebook study group. So there are Facebook study groups which are geared towards helping other students um, that are preparing for the NAPLEX or MPJE, whatever it may be. Um, there are study groups in which people post, you know, their experiences when it comes to taking the exam, um, things that they focused on, how they studied. Some people might be selling course material, you know, or just having old books or proposing times to meet up if you're looking for a study buddy, a uh, Facebook group would be very helpful there. I know that there is a Facebook group and it's there. I joined one when I was studying for the NAPLEX and I found it extremely helpful. Also, just to get an idea of how uh, people approach studying for the NAPLEX, people post a lot of helpful tips and suggestions that I found useful and might be useful to you. Again, these are easy to find and you, you don't have to pay or anything to be in these groups. Just go on Facebook if you have a Facebook and click join group. And usually within a day, you will be um, admitted into a group. So that's my second advice. Number three is to stay consistent. So initially, I planned to take my NAPLEX in June, but I really didn't end up taking it until July. And so I was studying on and off. So I started studying during rotations and then I stopped and then started again around May and then stopped and then started again around July uh, before taking my exam. And I found that all the things I studied prior to, it's like I didn't study at all. It's different from being in school, right? Because in school you're constantly being fed this information. So you see it constantly. So you're able to retain it. But the fact that it had been a while um, and I was going back, it's almost like I hadn't studied at all. And to be honest, the longer you push studying, the easier it is to forget the information. Believe it or not, you forget the information as time goes on. So my number one tip is figure out when you're going to take the exam and study consistently until you do take the exam so that you're not doing a lot of uh, double work and you're not going back and restudying the things that you've already studied because it is very easy to forget. You have to constantly uh, feed yourself the information to be able to remember it over time. Also, because it's so much material, it's difficult to study it all at once. Um, so you definitely have to give yourself time. You have to be able to pace yourself. Um, at the same time, you have to go back to the things, revisit the things that you've studied let's say three weeks ago, because again, it's so much material that you can easily forget. Essentially, you're cramming. Um, so just remember that it's a lot of material, though it's not something that you want to rush over at the same time. Don't try to, don't do it and then forget about it. You want to do it continuously. You want to stay consistent. Number four is you want to take the NAPLEX as close to graduation as possible. What they say is true. The further and further you get away from school, the more you forget the information that you've learned. So believe it or not, by the time June rolls around, you'll feel like you were never a pharmacy student. It's just because you're not, you're not 
being stimulated, you're not studying. So all that information slowly drifts away. You start to forget guidelines. You start to forget dosages, specific things that you learned during rotation. So you want to make sure that you're studying throughout your rotations, as well as as soon as school is out, you want to constantly keep feeding yourself that information because you will forget it over time. I would say ideally between May to September is the best time to take it. I took mine in August um, and I still found myself, you know, struggling, but it wasn't too far out. And a lot of the things I saw were a reminder of the things that I had studied during school. So try to schedule your exam as close to graduation as possible. Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. The closer to graduation, the easier it will be to study. The further out, the harder it will be to pass the exam because it's almost like you're looking at brand new information and it's almost, it, it's gonna look, the information will look brand new because it's been so long. Now, this is another tip that I have, and this may or may not be helpful to you, depends on what stage of your education you are in. If you are still a pharmacy student, it may be helpful. However, if you graduated, there's not much you can do about it. But I think that for me, the number one thing that helped me pass my NAPLEX was taking school seriously. Like, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to learn the material when you're a student. Don't cram it, learn it so that when you're starting for the NAPLEX, the information is more like a review rather than seeing information for the first time. Um, I didn't get through all the RX prep material, but I was able to pass because a lot of the foundation had been laid during school. So those long hours you're putting in as a pharmacy student, you know, those late nights, the actual time you're putting in to study the material, it's not in vain right? It will help you. The time will come. It may seem like you're doing extra or if you are, keep going because when it comes time to the NAPLEX, it's not just about what you can cram because it's so much information. It's almost impossible to cram for that exam. There's a lot of things that you do need to know and maybe those foundational things that you learned that you retained from school will be the questions that you'll be able to get right um, without even having to think twice. Use the time that you're studying to really focus on those subjects that you weren't the best at in school. Those subjects that, while they seem small and insignificant, they do have questions on the exam. And who knows, those questions could be the ones that will save you on the exam. So focus on you know those little topics like cystic fibrosis, multiple sclerosis. You don't wanna focus only on the big topics like diabetes and cardiovascular and hypertension, infectious diseases. So this time should also be helpful to you in focusing on those little subjects that maybe you didn't pay as much attention to during school. And those huge subjects, which you know a lot of your school years were devoted to, um, should be more of a revision as you're preparing for your NAPLEX. Okay, so those are my main tips. You're a student, so use that time wisely. Learn the material while you can as a student because that is the best preparation for the NAPLEX so that when it comes time to study, you're actually just really reviewing and it's more of a reminder uh, rather than a, a brand new study session. Uh, good luck as you prepare for the NAPLEX. I hope that these tips are helpful. Please uh, comment down below if there are additional tips that you feel other people might benefit from. Um, we're all in this together. We all went through the hard work. Now it's time, you know, to just seal the deal and like sign the check. So I wish you all the best as you study for your NAPLEX. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's try to get to a thousand subscribers. See you guys next time at Fun Farm.